Hello, I'm Dr. Matthew McBroom, the TLL Temple Professor and Associate Dean of Forestry at Stephen F. Austin State University. The area that I teach and do research in is in the area of water and water resources and how to conserve our water for future uses. Specifically today, what I want to talk to you about is how we maintain clean water for the future from forestry land uses. Forestry produces the highest quality water of any other land use that we can use, and therefore it is to our best advantage to be able to keep our working forests as working healthy forests and provide clean water. Specifically, I'm going to talk to you about a set of practices we employ on the landscape called best management practices or BMPs for short. BMPs are those things that we do on the land in order to conserve water. This includes streamside management zones which I'm going to talk more with you about here in a second but also maintaining our roadways and our skid trails and the harvest operations in such a way as to minimize the amount of sediment and erosion that makes it into our streams and rivers. Specifically, one of the most important BMPs that we employ is called the Streamside Management Zone, or SMZ for short. Now, an SMZ is a buffer strip of timber that's left on either side of a stream so that during harvest operations or thinnings or other forestry activities, the water is buffered so that the runoff and erosion can't go straight at directly into the stream channel. SMZs are typically 50 feet either side of the stream channel for 100 feet total of reserved timber. We are allowed to thin inside those SMZs. In fact, we oftentimes do, in order to maintain a healthy forest, need to remove some of the basal area and also promote regeneration of new trees in those SMZs. SMZs provide us with a whole host of benefits. One of the most critical one is stabilizing the stream banks so that when the water flows down the channel, the channel doesn't erode more quickly. As we have illustrated here at this particular creek, we have a good SMZ that's maintained over here to my right on the right bank of the stream. And over here on the right, you'll notice that we have lots of riparian or streamside plants that are growing. You'll notice that the stream bank is pretty stable and there's no signs of obvious erosion. Whereas over here to my left, there is no residual bank side timber. And here you'll notice excess amounts of soil erosion. You'll notice that the banks are actually sloughing off and that that soil material is now being moved downstream to potentially fill up our lakes and reservoirs and reduce our long-term capacity to store water and have water available in our region. Therefore, streamside management zones have been established as critical for maintaining healthy forests and healthy watersheds. Landowners are strongly encouraged to maintain SMZs. So in Texas, it's not a state or federal law requiring SMZs, but it is a good management practice and it is something that gives landowners a lot of bang for their buck beyond just the water quality benefits, of course, SMZs are beautiful, the aesthetics. SMZs also provide excellent wildlife habitat and travel corridors through forest operations. And SMZs enhance the biodiversity as well. So there's really no good reason not to leave an effective SMZ on, streams, on our streams and rivers. In fact, these reasons are so compelling that here in Texas, while we don't require landowners to leave riparian buffer strips, about 95 plus percent of harvest operations have good SMZs. In fact, it's getting more and more uncommon to find a situation where landowners aren't leaving SMZs. So it makes sense. It's good for the water, good for the land, and ultimately good for landowners as well. If you have any questions about SMZs or would like to learn more, my contact information is here, and I'd be happy to tell you more about the program, the researches that we've done on SMZs, or how to tailor the SMZs on your property to meet your objectives, but also to protect our state and our nation's water for the future.